everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. For those of you who are new to my channel, a little bit about myself. I'm a clairsentient clairvoyant and uh, as a clairvoyant, as a clairsentient, I can pick up energies between people. I love doing relationship readings. I can pick up energies from people, energies, vibes, emotions, um, feelings, you name it. It's reading people. It's where I shine. It's where I do my best work. Um, and I'm also clairvoyant. So if you would like to purchase a private reading from me, go ahead and email me. I will leave my email below and I will get back to you within 24 hours. And my uh, turnaround time for reading is less than seven days. Email me, I will give you the information on how to get a reading. Now I'm also, you can also get a reading from me through a website called Hipsy. It's very easy. I will leave the information in the description box. All right, my link to Hipsy. And I'm using Hipsy because they accept different payment methods than I do. I don't accept Venmo. I don't accept Visa, MasterCard. I don't accept um, Google Pay. So you can go there and you can get you can purchase through there if you do not have PayPal. They also accept PayPal. Now, I also offer different services through them. So if you want to get a one question, a yes or no, one card energy reading, like you can get that for $10. So if you, all you can afford is $10, go ahead and go through Hipsy if you want. I just did have different services here and different services there. Okay? I don't mean to complicate things, <laughs> but um, they just can offer better payment methods than I can. Okay. All right. And for those of you who are subscribers who keep coming back and sharing and liking and commenting um, on my channel, I truly, truly appreciate it. I love each and every one of you. And I, I hope you guys enjoy the reading. Him Hai Yoon and Beyond Wu Seek. All right. I do recall them both being Scorpios. I don't, I think I did the last reading on them back in August. I don't know if it's changed much, but I get a deeper um, connection between them. I know when these actors and actresses and even people in real life who work together into like in, in very like, um, like, like uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? When you work together in um, an environment that is very intense or spending 15, 18 hours uh, uh, together, you get to learn a lot about each other and um, bonds start to form and feelings start to kind of come to the surface. Okay, so I get that this is growing between the two of them, but I don't feel that there's any lines crossed. It's like almost like I kind of get the feeling like he just says, hey, like, you know, you want to go for coffee with me or do you want to do something? It's like she's the go-to person for him if he wants to do something. I get that he is open to maybe wanting to take her out or wanting to do something, you know? Um, I don't feel like on a date, but it's like he's starting to feel that she's somewhat special and he's opening up to her okay he wants to look after her i get this feeling of um he likes to care for her um he likes her vibe he does okay his hearts i feel like his heart is fluttering a little What are the energies between them? What are the energies? Uh oh, spaghetti oat. <laughs> Okay, so the very first card here we have is the hangman. So the hangman represents waiting for a change in circumstance before making a decision. 
He's waiting for a green light. He's waiting for a yellow light. He's waiting for something. So he's hanging. He's hanging and he's waiting until he gets some something from her that he can kind of start to proceed forward. Okay. All right. Ace of Cups. Now the Ace of Cups is a new beginning. Aces are, aces are beginnings. Tens are endings. This Ace here is can represent new baby or relationship, proposal, marriage, birth, that new relationship. He, you can see this cup is overflowing with water. To me, this represents emotional fulfillment. They might both of them have it, but I feel like it's coming from him a little bit stronger. And it's gonna, I feel like it'll grow. Um, this could be that, you know, butterflies in the stomach, you know, that sort of a thing. Um, so it could be that stage that they're at right now. All right, then we have um, this card is the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune represents um, good fortune. It's a turning point. This is divine law, destiny, maybe meant to happen, that they meet. You know, um, nothing is ever uh, accidental. So this could be something that, um, that was meant for them in the stars. Okay, so with the strength card, I'm just gonna get a deeper meaning. So this is about fate, destiny, divine law, opportunity, there's luck, it's change. This says that <clears throat> uh, everything improves with this card, okay? relationships benefit from chance meetings i don't know if they've met before you know if this was the first time it could have been a chance meeting you know that they're working together um so i think that this relationship was meant to be as in meeting each other and perhaps you know even growing now we have justice and the justice does talk this is you know legal contracts, it can talk about marriage, but I think this is work related now, right? They both signed a legal contract to work. It's a very, the, the justice card is saying that it's very balanced, okay? You can see the way skills here are balanced. Um, and I mean, she's got the blindfold on. So to me, this is saying that I feel like, you know, this is usually like justice is blind, right? that they should, with this card, you don't see the color in the person. You don't see the things that are, like there's legally binding stuff, you know? Like, that this is more of a card of um, things being fair and equal between the two of them, okay? I don't feel like there's, um, right now, emotions from her. She's seeing this as more of a fair and balanced relationship. Okay, and here we have the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords, we know that she is a, a Scorpio, right? This represents a um, logical, self-sufficient, truth-telling woman. Scorpios are typically like that. Scorpios like to sting, okay? They will sting you with their words. Um, but this is also a woman who tells the truth, a woman who tells um, what she wants and what she needs and how she's going to get it or how she wants it. All right, so I feel like he really likes that in her, that she's a very confident, strong woman, okay? At, at right now, I feel like it's more him who is um, just feeling it and wants to grow up, but I think he's just kind of waiting on a little more of a, like, I don't know, green light from her to, to show that there's interest, okay? All right, and let's see what the future messages are. I think this would grow very slowly. So let's see what the future messages are regarding these two. Okay, what are the future messages? Okay. Kim Hyun and Beyond Beyond Music. Future messages regarding Kim Hyun and Beyond Wu Siok. All right. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. I get a bit of a giddiness from her, and I think he likes that. That she she can let when she lets her guard down, he likes what he sees. Just waiting for one card to fall out at a time here. Okay. Oops. Uh oh, there's that card again. same cards all right this card here tells me so there's a six of wands this talks about victory awards recognition good news there could be victory here between the two of them in the relationship movement forward white horse speaks about movement forward in tarot okay all right then we have the temperance card and temperance speaks about balance harmony self-control moderation i feel for a while it'll be balanced it'll harm be harmonious they're not going to jump in feet first but it's going to be it's going to be that um you see i also see that this is the angels bringing them together this is an angel that brought them together they were destined all right um, but there's a lot of balance and harmony between the two of them and it will continue to be between them. All right, here we have this card again, Ace of Cups, that new beginning. Perhaps in the future, she's going to be emotionally fulfilled too. Because this come up in the present and it comes up in the future, it, I feel that this is not going to change. That the, he will keep being emotionally fulfilled by her. And I feel she may start to feel the same way. Okay, all right, the Page of Wands speaks about, um, okay, this could be a new career, a new idea, someone who's active, but I see passion here. Again, passion with him. And I, I have a feeling she's going to pick up on that passion that he sees with her and the relationship. I mean, here we have this again, Queen of Swords. Okay, so he likes he likes her for being the honest person that she is. And I feel that eventually she will speak her truth and she'll be honest with him and perhaps on how she feels. Okay, all right, there you go. That is the reading on Kim Hai Yoon and Beyond Woo Siok.